It's a Wednesday morning in Northeast Portland, and William Hernandez has no idea what he's about to paint. Perfecto. I don't make sketches. I don't want to feel limited. I think it's a relationship between me and the tools and the canvas all together are trying to make a perfect dance. In the process, it's completely spontaneous. It's flowing, you know, paintbrushes is going itself. When I paint, I don't paint the present. I, I paint the past. like when you're dreaming, you know. I want to translate that kind of feelings on every painting, you know, like a, a dream lifestyle. One painting I made, my inspiration was something that I saw on the Max station. I saw a little girl with an accordion and two men holding a horse head mask. It was really bizarre. And I felt like uh, this is good subject for a future painting. Uh, you can see a lot of bright colors on my palette. My characters need to be bright because my life is bright. I need to be honest about the color. Reminds me my country, you know, living in Portland and thinking about Peru. I feel that I need connection between cultures. William grew up in Lima, Peru. He began drawing as soon as he could hold a pen. At age 18, he joined Lima's National School of Fine Arts, one of the most prestigious art institutes in South America. The Fine Arts School is really famous because you learn from master teachers. I think it was one of my most important part of my whole life. But while he was there, politics took center stage. In 1999, in Lima, Peru, it was a lot of political issues. We were really convinced that there was a lot of corruption, even in the school. And some of my friends decided to take over our school. I remember when we have the first march, it was a big one. So I just grabbed whatever I found and created political science. The protest ended, William graduated, and soon scored his first solo show in Lima. Then, in 2008, his life changed dramatically. Well, I met my wife in Lima. And she, from here, and she said, you know, it's time to move you know, to Portland, Oregon. I became a father. Uh, I have two kids, six years old and three years old. And my life changed forever, in a good way. William set up his new studio in Portland and continued painting. And he painted a lot. Okay, guys, remember your paintings yesterday? Yeah. Remember? And he began sharing his skills with a whole new group. I enjoy to teach art, you know, besides, you know, my artistic career and everything. I really like to be involved with kids because they are really amazing. I like to show my feelings and I like to paint, like to make colors. One thing that I always told them, this is not an art class. You won't learn about primary colors or techniques. You are learning here to be free, to express yourself, to put on the canvas, on the paper, whatever you want to do, but, but try to be honest. When I finish a painting, I feel really great. I had something to do, and I express myself on the canvas, and then it's gone. I think I am happy with this. Done. Even though I finish a painting, I feel like it's not really done until the painting is hanging on the walls. 
I think you are moving your own soul with art, but you need to share your art with the people. So my neighbor has a lot of chickens. I love opening reception because it's the only way that you can connect with the people. People are asking about each painting. I paint because I like to express all of that I have inside me. Like a birth from nothing to painting. I want to create something that people can feel some emotion. I want to show to everyone who I am. I want to be better every time.